It's a sloppy night across southeast Texas, southwest Louisiana, and a soggy night too, but at least temperatures are on the way up. Outside right now, the rains have, uh, well, temporarily ended over in toward southwest Louisiana. They're picking back up into southeast Texas as for you courtesy of LaBerge Casino Resort. So as you can see, the warm front lifting on off towards the north. Temperatures have risen to near 60 here in Beaumont. We're watching additional shower activity off towards our southwest, an area of rain and through mid-county. Uh, back over in towards LaBelle and uh, looks like Hampshire and back over to Finette. But uh, we're also watching the uh, intensity of these cells, even some lightning off uh, towards uh, northwest Houston. As you can see, those will be picking up and they're moving our way. So we'll see an enhancement, or uh, round two, if you will, coming up as we head towards the wee hours of the morning, even the lakes area seeing a few more showers than what we were seeing about an hour ago. As far as rainfall over the last 12 hours, we're seeing anywhere from about uh, about a half an inch on most locations. This is what we started off with this morning, 39 into Jasper, mid 40s here in the Triangle at 7 a.m. Notice how temperatures were sluggish to warm, but we finally did break uh, into the mid and upper 50s and into around 60 currently into Beaumont. 49, though, into Jasper. 10 degrees spread there. Weather watchers were at 60 over in Bevel Oaks. Bill reporting just over a half an inch and 50 degrees on the Kubota Beaumont Tractor Weather Watcher Network. In a Port Arthur, MJ, just shy of four tenths of an inch of rainfall. He's currently up to 57 degrees. Further to the north, it's 49 in Jasper. And over in Warren, Jim Monk reporting 50 in Woodville. Travis Smith at 49 degrees. Temperatures are chilly up in the north Texas, the Red River uh, Valley back over to northeast Texas. But as you can see, a little bit warmer along the Texas Gulf Coast, and that's courtesy of that warm front that has lifted on off towards the north and uh, through our area. Notice the rain's picking up. That's because of the jet stream piece of energy. In fact, you can see the cirrus clouds associated with that coming on around, and that is causing lift in our area. That's why we're enhancing our rain chances uh, through overnight and into tomorrow morning. Warm front lifts to the north, pretty good coverage. Again, you'll probably hear some rumbles of thunder as temperatures continue to warm uh, by daybreak into the upper and middle 50s up in the lakes area. The rain should be done by about 7 o'clock in the morning or dawn. And then here comes that secondary front. I think we could get into the upper 60s tomorrow as the clouds thin out during the afternoon and that front continues to move on out. So we may see the sun set tomorrow evening. A small craft advisory on the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow with uh, choppy to rough seas around three to six feet. So not a good day to head out on the water. An 80% coverage of additional rain, a few thunderstorms uh, and uh, rising temperatures. Fog a possibility in the morning temperatures. We've already seen our lows continue rising into the middle to upper 50s and lower 60s. And then tomorrow with us starting off at around 61, 62 in the morning. I think it's going to be very easy to hit about 68, 69 tomorrow here in the Triangle. We get a little bit of sunshine and wind shift to the northwest. An additional one inch is possible in some spots across the area until tomorrow morning at dawn. Again, with the sun setting, we'll see a beautiful day on Friday as we open the weekend right in the middle of the weekend. Another round of rain. So the beginning and the end should be okay. But Monday, the sun comes back with an additional amount of rainfall coming up on Tuesday due to another cold front.